to another match in our uh, War on the Floor series. A taller judoka in the blue gi, Sabrina Filtz Moser is representing Austria. And the shorter judoka in the white gi, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce her surname, so I'm just going to call her Daria. So we see a grip exchange here. And Filtz Moser dropping to the knees, but the arm is immediately taken immediately taken hold of by Daria and she's got the arm extended it's just unclear whether Filtz Mozart is, is able to turn her elbow up or whether it's simply the joint that's being bent against itself so Daria a lot of hip extension in that arm bar not a lot of uh, pressure between the legs but you can see Sabrina slow to get up here so the referee surprisingly called them back to their feet rather than letting the action play out he seemed to think that the armbar attempt had stalled I would have liked to have seen things keep going but uh, Sabrina feels Mosa noticeably slow to get back to her feet Lovely Diashi Barai, but Fields Mozart turns belly down. This time Daria doesn't pursue a ground attack. Fields Mosa pressing the action, attempted under hook, settles for an over the top grip. Daria behind, but Kochi Makikomi from the ground. Now she's going to look to free herself. This is one of her favorite ways of pinning, the reverse Kesa Gatame, certainly her favorite way of pinning. And Daria must escape here or she's going to lose this match. Is she going to be able to do so? She she does. She's bellied down. You can see the ref in the background waving off the pin count. Now, Filtzmosa remaining on the attack. She's looking to isolate a head and arm here. She has the arm extended. There's an option to go for the Ushiro Sankaku. She's not going to take it. She's going to focus on this arm. Coming back up to a mounted situation here. Udegatame pressure. Daria bridging. Looks like she's thinking about tapping with that free hand. She does. She's given up. The match is over. So Sabrina Filtzmosa survives what looks look to be a very dangerous armbar attack and comes back to win with an arm attack of her own. Let's look at this arm attack once more. It's a very quick transition. Rolling through, appeared to have that arm extended. There wasn't a lot of pressure between the legs. A lot of bridging pressure. I'm really surprised that Filtzmosa was able to hang on here. I can only assume that she must have rotated that wrist away. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe for more in the War on the Floor series. Also, I'm planning to do a major film study of Sabrina Fieldsmosa's grappling. So please subscribe if you're interested in that. <laughs>